Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd. Welcome to hopefully a fun video of organising my um, accessories. So I showed this on a recent unboxing from GBFKE um, and it's a storage box um, and I thought it was super fun to be able to use to store accessories. Um, I'm going to film this video. I'm just waiting for, um, they're going to send me a replacement one because there was an issue with the catch um, on this one. My husband's tried to super glue it, but you can see it's just, yeah, it's not worked. It's not, it's just coming off. So um, they are going to send me a replacement. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and film the video. Um, I can always store my things in here really because I have all of my accessories in the top of my um, Rascog, my Ikea Rascog cart. And I want to free up the space in there and um, put all my accessories in here in one. And then if I want to pick it up, I'm just going to have to lift it up rather than by the handle. Once I've got the replacement, I'll just move everything over. But I thought, you know what? I'll go ahead and film the video today because there's nothing else wrong with it apart from the catch that's broken. So um, I'm going to grab out, start grabbing out some of my supplies and then getting them organised in here. So first of all, let's move all of this over here. So I have my tweezers, so I think they should, yeah, I should be able to fit those in there. Um, I have more pairs of tweezers. I have lots of pairs of tweezers. I have, here are my pens. So I've got a mixture of diamond painting pens here, um, a normal, just a writing pen. And then I have more tweezers. <laughs> You're, if you buy diamond art club kits you'll know um i have some more tweezers i think i've got some other ones as well i have my roller another pen so all of my pens can go in the top another pen uh one that i've got from my recent gbfk haul the yellow pen was from them so all of those can just sit in the top there and i think even even when I know that this is broken, so this is probably, let me just pull that off. It's a really bad example, but yeah, you can probably fit, um, it probably won't take two layers, but if you're smart, then you can kind of move the pens kind of up and down like this um, and be able to get them, you have to get them all in. If you've got more pens, you could always use the bottom, um, the bottom layer instead, but that will work for me. I don't have, I think I've got two more pens maybe um maybe two more pens or one more pen so that should work if not i'll move the roller to the bottom um, but all of my pens can then live up there that's fine then i have my let's just bring my little organizer pot because i bought this from timu um and i bought it mainly to kind of sit on the sofa and diamond paint with but um i don't tend to bring it out um, to be honest with you so I'm going to move everything out of there into here so it's all in one so I have a multitude of straighteners um, so I'm going to pop just one and then I think what I'm going to do with the others is I'm just going to I know that I've got um, I've had a, um, a subscriber reach out and I'm going to be sending her um a straightener because i've got so many of them um but i'll pop them i've got a, another bag that i'm keeping kind of overs in and then um i can use them to, to give away to people that need them um there is another straightener here as well i can't remember where this came from but it's a different one um and i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it just because then i've got a couple of options then i've got my pencil and this one's a bit of a bulky one, so I think what I'm going to do is just change it out for my mechanical pencil and I'll pop that back in my pencil pot. Then I have my um, ceramic cutter, so again I'll just include that in the top. Then next up I have a couple of trash trays, so I have this one from Add More Zest. I don't tend to use that one anymore. I have this little pot here from Love Resin Crafts. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to fit in there. If I try and put it in, let's see if that will go down i think it will go in there actually um so that just about fits on that layer actually so it does take quite quite a bit of um quite a bit of height but i'm using it at the moment so i'm leaving it out okay so then we have clips um i'm not sure where my other one is because i have a pink one too um and that seems to have got disappeared so i'm going to pop that one in the bottom i use those to peg my um paintings to whatever i'm working on then i have a 
a sticky mat. So I'm going to pop that in the bottom. I actually have another one as well from um, GBFKE. So I'm going to pop that in there. I use those to grab hold of my pots and my trash tray. So I just stick it to whatever surface I'm working on. And I pop my um, pot and my trash tray onto the sticky mat. It's always handy to have more than one because they can pick up fluff and dog hair and dirt all the time. So um, I tend to do have I tend to have more than one. Then I've got some release papers. So I'm just going to pop these back back in the packet because I've been a bit lazy when I've used them. I haven't actually popped them back in. So I've got some release papers that I'm going to pop in there as well that's going to be handy to use. Um, that is empty. Oh, I've got some more tweezers. Pop those in there. And then in my bottom tray here, I have a few things. So I have a handy spoon if I ever need to kind of spoon drills out. So I'm going to pop, pop that in with the tweezers. And again, a little brush that helps to get the um, drills out of trays. So again, I'll pop that in with the tweezers. And then I have a bunch of multi places. So I think what I'm going to do is have a whole home for these multi places because this box is definitely being um, outgrown. So most of these multi places are from um, Diamond Art Club kits. Um, so I keep them because they are the thinner profile ones. And then I also have some metal tip ones um, that I've purchased as well. So I'm going to pop all of those in there. And then I've got some other ones here as well. So those are all going to go in. So here are all of my multi places. So I can just come to my box and find one that I wish to use. Um, I do have some spare of the rubber um, the rubber ring things for the uh, metal one. So I'm going to pop that in there as well. So they're all together. That then gives me a little pot that I could use for something else. And then um, I have a couple of rolls of washi. Um, I use this um not generally to uh, kind of cover my painting, um, but for anything else that I need to stick down. So I'll pop my couple of rolls of washi in the bottom there. Then I have my um, 151 stick remover. So I use this to remove stickers from my, uh, my pots. So I'm going to pop that in there too. Next up at the moment I have... So that's pretty much everything in here. I've got two pots of AB drills that shouldn't be in here, but they've, they've been living in here for now. Then I've just got those. I've got two empty little container pots that I'm just going to put in my spare storage. So if I need an extra pot for drills or something, I can just go and use these. And um, they've got a nice um, clasp on them and they're secure all the way around. So it's a really good idea. Just take the um, little foam bit out of there. Um, I've got a little pad for um, any notes that I need to make. I tend to use my logbook um, because I've got a note section in there. So I'm going to remove this. I don't seem to need to um, use them at the moment. So next up, I have my um, tin of um, wax. Now, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. So I generally use putty, um, which I store in a separate pouch. So I use, um, I have all my pouches and my little pouches of putty but any decent wax I keep and I store in here because my husband does a little bit of diamond painting too um so I store that in here to um, um to allow him to use so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here the ones that are in the little pots because these are um easy enough to grab and then these actually I'm going to move the little trash tray over there um, these are the little diamond art club ones in the in the pots. I've got more of these, um, but these are the three that I've got in here. And then I've got a whole heap of other wax and stuff. So I think I'm going to pop this away um, so I can still get access to it if I want it. But actually, the majority of the, the wax that I would use would just come from one of these little pots because it keeps it nice and um, stops it from drying out. So if I'm halfway through using one, I can just pop it back in there. Um, and then I will close that up. Now, it's a decision whether I put my putty in here as well, um, because that already has its own home. So it might stay there or I might move it over. We'll see over time. So next up, I'm going to need to store my trays. So I generally use the um, kitten up kitten trays I'll leave these linked down in the description box below for you as well they are available on Etsy these are the mini ones these are the small ones and my other two are currently vacationing somewhere in my house I think one is in my living room for the art dot painting that I'm doing um, when I'm on the sofa and I think the other one's in the dining room for my bigger diamond art club one that I'm doing on the dining room table so for the minute I've just got my two little mini 
cook trays that are going to go in there. I'm just going to make sure that this is going to go down far enough. Yes, it does. Sorry. I can see actually that tray just sits on that little lip. So anything that's underneath that is absolutely fine. So I have my two little trays. I have my funnel to help me pour my drills in. So I'm going to pop that in there also. Um, I did pick up recently um, this from GBFK as well. Just a little mini pot. This is great for when you've got confetti areas. So if you've got a couple of colours that are constantly ongoing, I know I've got a painting that's got a lot of 823 and 939. There's not obviously a lot of space in here for these, but um, I don't mind so much kind of filling it up if it means I can have two pots on the go. So I'm going to pop that in here also. I've actually got a nesting set of these as well, um, which I've put away because I don't tend to use them that often. So that's those. Then I've also got my... Let me see what else I can include in here. Um, I've got my pen that I use to write on labels. Um, I've also got my, let me pop these both back in the bag because they are liquid. Um, I've got my sealer. So I've got two um, sealers. Now, I don't know if these are going to go in. They should do. No, maybe not. Um, one is on the go. One is open and I'm using and one isn't. So I think I'm going to store my unopened one in my extras and then just pop pop the one bottle in so i've got it in here if i need it now i know this can look a little messy um but if everything's contained i'm happy it means that if i can take this box into the dining room and not have to come backwards and forwards to go oh i need some tweezers now and i come and get a fresh set of tweezers or oh, i could really do with a bigger multi-placer i've just got everything with me that i'm gonna need um so i'm not gonna need to get up and down so i'm gonna pop that in my extras um sometimes i use double-sided tape in my um in my pen um so i'm going to use that um leave that in there as an option just in case i need it now in terms of um in terms of labels i actually use this which i picked up from timu um so i'm not going to move this and actually i've got some more cards to add in there as well um so what i put in here is i have my little um my information cards for my kits um so i've just these are just a printable again available on etsy so um for like a dollar or just over a dollar i think it works out um so if you're interested in these um then you can go and grab these and i just store these um i fill these out and store these with my drills then i have my spare um grip seal bags and then here is where I store all of my um, all of my labels. Um, and I've got some that I purchased, some that have come with um, storage boxes or kits or anything. So I keep all of my labels in here. So I'm going to leave those in there. I might add a couple in here um, just so I've got some. That, that's what I'll probably do. I'll probably just add a couple of sheets in here um, just so I've got them to hand so again, I don't have to get up and come and um, get some from my room. So the rest of those are going to stay in there, though. And then um, let's see what else we've got. I think that's pretty much it. Then I've got I've got my scales. Um, I use these for um, when I'm trying to figure out how many drills that I need. Now, I don't tend to use these um, most of the time when I'm just diamond painting. So I might just leave this in my cart as opposed to in my box and um, I'll just grab it from my cart if I need it. So actually, I've got a fair amount in here. Trays, I'll add my bigger trays in as well when I'm not using them. Trays, I've got double-sided tape, straighteners, washi, um, ceiling glue, sticker remover. I've got my sticky pads and the um, cover paper, wax, uh, labels, lots of tweezers, lots of um, replacement heads, and all of my pens. And then that just closes up really nicely and as i said if that catch was working um then it would be perfect if we had to pick it up but for the minute i have to lift it like this um until the replacement come one comes in so i hope you've enjoyed my little accessory box setup um i'm sure this may change um and evolve over time as i start using it and find i don't necessarily need certain things in the box um that i've put in today um so i'll just remove those if i find that i'm not using them as often or if i find that i want to add my putty in or i want to add something else in 
in, then obviously I'm free to do that um, as and when I feel that I've got other things that I want to include. So, yes, thank you very much for joining me for today's um, little accessory um, set up in my new box and um, if you have enjoyed today's video as always if you would give it a thumbs up do hit that subscribe button if you are new make sure you hit the bell notification so you're aware of when I next upload and I'll see you all again in the next video bye